Scientists visiting Chernobyl have found that worms living near the world's most well-known nuclear disaster zone have developed immunity to radiation. 세계 최악의 원전 방사능 노출 사고가 있었던 체르노빌을 찾은 과학자들이 피해 지역 근처에 사는 벌레가 방사성 물질의 면역력을 가진 사실을 발견했습니다. This is very interesting. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds you of, um, you know, Avengers and Hulk. I think Hulk, was it Hulk that was yeah, affected was by radiation and, and then, the gamma yeah. rays? Right. Yes, yeah, so I was thinking of that the entire mm. time I was reading this article. So basically these worms that live near, of course, Chernobyl is the world's well, most well-known nuclear disaster zone. Uh, they've appeared it's appeared they they have acquired new superpowers or mm. immunity to radiation wow. so this new study they visited or scientists visited chernobyl to investigate uh these worms are called nematodes they're mm. tiny worms uh that have very simple genetic makeup and they rapidly reproduce which is why they were chosen i guess for this experiment um so they gather these worms from soil samples maybe rotting fruit and other materials that and and they tested these different samples for mm. levels of radiation and they found that the level of radiation varied from low levels which could be recorded in major large cities and high levels that are found in outer space mm. and they've said that despite the high radiation uh, the genomes of the worms were not damaged oh. and um, you know of course this doesn't mean that Chernobyl is safe for us to visit mm. Mm. but it suggests that worms are very resilient animals which can withstand extreme conditions yeah, I mean, the disaster of Chernobyl uh, was 1986, and it affected hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. Um, but animals have been living around the site for, you know, as long as yeah. we have we have known. And it looks like they have evolved, as yeah. you said. Yeah. And now they've developed some kind of immunity. Uh, the first expression to look at here is a disaster zone. Right. So a disaster zone, we call them disaster areas as well. Um, it's it's an area that has been stricken by a disaster, like a typhoon or earthquake. And um, the, you have to take measures there to reduce the severity of the human and material damage that have been caused by the disaster. Mm. Disaster zone이 바로 피해 지역이 되겠고요. Immunity. So immunity, um, in this case, it would be the state or quality of being resistant to a particular infectious disease or pathogen. Mm. Uh, in the Chernobyl case, it would be to radiation. Um, but it could also mean, in terms of in legalese, it could mean the official protection from legal action. Mm. 법률 용어로도 쓰기도 하는데 여기서 이제 면역력이라는 뜻으로 immunity라고 하고요. Be immune to something 이렇게 동사 형태로도 씁니다. 자, 그럼 다시 한번 읽어 볼게요. Scientists visiting Chernobyl have found that worms living near the world's most well-known nuclear disaster zone have developed immunity to radiation. Here's our next headline. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has issued an apology for doctoring a family photo on Mother's Day after the latest picture sparked global furor. 자, 영국의 케이트 미들턴 왕세자비는 어머니 날에 올린 가족 사진이 세계적으로 논란이 된데 대해 조작 사실을 인정하며 사과문을 발표했습니다. 좀 배경 설명이 필요할 것 같아요. 일단은 어, 이름부터 좀 설명을 드리자면은 그냥 친구들이나 좀그 편하게는 케이트 미들턴 mm-hmm. 원래 성이 미들턴이고 그냥 케이트 이렇게 이름을 부르긴 하지만 공식 명칭에는 Catherine이라는 원래 이름을 씁니다. Yep. 네, 그래서 Catherine을 줄여서 케이트가 된 거거든요. 그래서 그 Catherine, Princess of Wales가 그 동안에 이제 복부 관련된 수술을 받고 한 동안 공식 활동을 하지 않고 있어서 사람들이 사실 계속 궁금했어요. 왜왜 yeah. 어, 왜 계속 so 활동을 안 할까? Yeah. 많이 아픈가? 그래서 정말 진심 어린 걱정과 우려를 많이 하고 있던 가운데 바로 지난 주말이 Mother's Day 주말이었죠. Mm-hmm. 음, 그때 사진을 하나 이제 가족 사진을 올리면서 저잘 지내고 있어요. 이렇게 올려서 처음에는 사람들이 다행이다. Yeah. 어, 가족 yeah. 사진 너무 달란하고 좋다 했는데 
자, 이제부터 좀 설명 주시죠. Okay, so um, they, I, I think a few days ago, I, well, not a few days ago, but recently, so I read on this, and apparently uh, major, you know, uh, major media agencies like Getty Images, AFP, Associated Press, uh, the, the wording was very, they, they were told to kill it. The picture mm. because they found that it might have been doctored or they were getting a lot of you know inquiries mm -hmm. related to this picture saying that something's it's been edited something's right. been done to it mm -hmm. uh, so what Catherine has done Catherine Princess of Wales has done is she has apologized mm. uh, coming forth and saying that yes it has been edited a little bit mm -hmm. um, so she's apologized for any confusion um, after she said that she edited that Mother's Day photograph of her and her children so she's basically taking responsibility for the changes in the photograph mm -hmm. rather than her husband who actually said that or she says that her husband took it Prince William yeah 아, 지금 사실 영국에서요 그 주요 로열 패밀리 멤버들이 다 공식 일정을 요즘 안 하고 있어요 yeah. 찰스 왕 같은 경우에는 well. 네, 최근에 뭐 뉴스에서도 계속 나왔죠. 몸이 많이 안 좋아요. 그래서 지금 좀 쉬고 있고 아, 카밀라 아, 퀸 콘서트 같은 경우에도 요즘 공식 활동 안 하고 있어요. 그 다음에 이제 프린스 윌리엄하고 프린세스 캐터린인데 프린스 윌리엄은 그래도 조금 음. 이제 활동을 하고는 있지만 이제 프린세스 캐터린이 또 최근에 이렇게 수술을 받고 공식 활동 안 하다 보니까 주요 멤버들이 이렇게나 yeah. 많이 지금 안 보이는 것에 대해서 영국 시민들은 너무나 너무나 걱정하고 있거든요. Yeah, what's going on? 그러니까 <웃음> 굉장히 얼마나 아프길래 mm -hmm. 이렇게 공식 활동을 안 할까? 얼굴 좀 보여 달라. Mm -hmm. 아, 그러면서 이렇게 우려를 하는 중에 사진이 올라와서 안심을 했다가 mm -hmm. 근데 이게 조작된 사진이면 그럼 진짜 아픈 거 아니야? 하면서 yeah. 또더 걱정을 하게 된 거죠. Yeah. 왜 조작까지 하면서 사람들을 가짜로 안심을 시키려고 할까? 하는 그런 우려들도 나오고 있답니다. Yeah, it's kind of interesting though. I mean, because she said that, this is what she said, quote unquote, mm. like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing, but I looked at, um, they had, the article had, uh, you know, they, they closed up on the places that she had edited. And I was wondering, why would you edit like your, your daughter's hand area? Mm -hmm. Or it, they were just very it, strange yeah. areas that you would edit. Like It wasn't severely doctored. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very slight. Yeah, and yeah. If Still. I were going to edit mm. my picture that would go out in public, I mm. would edit my face or, you know, <laughs> something like that, right? <laughs> 사실은 뭐 어찌 보면은 엄청나게 손을 댄 것은 mm. 아니지만 어쨌든 간에 그 어떤 신뢰가 yeah. 예, 조금 깨진 느낌이라고 보실 수 있을 것 같고요. 표현 보도록 하겠습니다. Okay. 우리 지금 계속 얘기했는데 yes. 사진을 doctoring 한다고 하면 무슨 뜻이죠? Right, so we're not talking about a medical doctor, but mm -hmm. when we're doctoring something, uh, it means to change a document or yep. change a photograph in order to deceive people. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about pictures, we, we say, oh, it's been photoshopped or it's, it's been touched up. Yeah, 맞아요. 조작하다 라는 의미입니다. Be adjusted, changed 이런 의미인데요. Doctored 라고 얘기해요. 자, 그 다음에 there was... Global furor or uproar. Right, right. Global furor, global uproar. Uh, I, I do think uh, the spelling that I'm more used to mm. is F-U-R-O-R. -R, ah, without an E. Without an E, but you can also spell it with an E. Mm -hmm. uh, but this furor, it, it's the uproar you mentioned. Mm. It's a sudden, very excited or angry reaction mm. to something by a lot of people, so by the masses. 자, 세계적인 소동이나 논란을 global furor라고 합니다. 스펠링은 미국과 영연방 국가들이 조금 다르게 쓰지만 예, 같은 f u r o r 아니면 e 붙인 furor라는 단어입니다. 다시 한번 읽어 보겠습니다. Catherine Princess of Wales has issued an apology for doctoring a family photo on Mother's Day after the latest picture sparked global furor. And here's our final headline. U.S.-based space company Above Space has said it is aiming to launch two space stations with tourist accommodations starting next year, offering all-inclusive luxury rooms and breathtaking views of Earth from space. 미국에 본사를 둔 우주 기업 Above Space가 내년부터 관광 숙박 시설이 포함된 우주 정거장 두 곳을 운영한다고 발표했습니다. 이 우주 호텔에는 모든 게 갖춰진 호화 객실과 우주에서 지구를 바라보는 환상적인 전망이 제공될 예정입니다. Tell us more. 
Right, so uh, it's the world's first space hotel, and it's going to offer incredible views of the entire Earth, and it is set to open soon. So above space, they're planning on opening two space stations. Uh, it's the Voyager Station and Pioneer Station. Mm -hmm. And the Voyager Station, it sounds like a larger one. Um, they say it's going to accommodate about 400 people, and they're planning to launch it in 2027, so just a couple years away. Right. Uh, uh, Pioneer Station is set to be a smaller version of the Voyager Station. It's a little bit more, I guess, exclusive. Um, it's going to house 28 people. Mm. And the the shape of this, um, I guess, space station, it's kind of like uh, a rotating wheel. Like that, a Ferris wheel. Yeah, that yeah. orbits the Earth. Mm. That's why you can see the whole view of Earth. Mm. And um, they say the interior of this, this uh, space station, it's going to be like a luxury hotel that we usually... Well, I haven't been to a lot of luxury hotels, but they say it's going to look like a nice luxury hotel. Mm. But the views are going to be exceptional because you're going to be able to see into space and see the Earth. Mm. Um, so you you might be wondering how much will it yes, cost? Yes, I'm very curious right? to know yeah, if so I can afford to go. I don't think we're going to be able... Well, I don't know. Maybe you can, but I don't tell think... Tell me I'm how gonna, much it is, I'm and then I'll tell be you. Afford to, uh, able to afford to go. They say that... Uh, the trip will take about 4 to 18 hours. Okay, um, that's fine. <laughs> and it's going to cost guests at least $55 million. I won't be able to go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so only, gonna... <laughs> yeah, only yeah. the super, super rich will be able to go and spend time at this luxury hotel. of <laughs> course. <laughs> 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 we can't wait to hear. <laughs> uh, but they do say that, you know, they're, they're not just planning on this to be just an accommodation. Mm. They want to, in the future, run like a business park where people can go uh, and, you know, test out rocket engines, space habitats, and mm. test out all these other technologies while... Kind of staying at the nice luxury yeah. resort. <laughs> 일단 뭐 모양은 이 대관람차처럼 Ferris wheel 아니면 big wheel이라고 하는데요. 그런 모양이고요. 어, 정말 멋있긴 하겠어요. 거기서 이제 지구를 바라보면서. <웃음> I'll, I'll just 멋있... see pictures or watch, <웃음> 네. you know, videos. 720억 원 is a little bit above my budget. <웃음> <웃음> <laughs> 자, 첫 번째 표현 보도록 하겠습니다. Mm. Tourist accommodation. Right, so when we talk about accommodation, it doesn't necessarily have to be a hotel, but it's a place that you can stay or live in. Mm. And tourists are, of course, people who are away from home visiting another place. So in this case, a tourist accommodation would be, uh, you know, a place that you would pay money to stay. Mm. 관광 숙박시설이죠. And breathtaking views. Breathtaking, something that's extremely exciting, very beautiful or mm. very surprising, that kind of <gasps> takes your breath away yes. would be breathtaking. 네, 숨이 멎는 듯한 정말 아름다운 것을 breathtaking이라고 얘기합니다. Okay, here's the headline again. US-based space company Above Space has said it is aiming to launch two space stations with tourist accommodations starting next year offering all-inclusive luxury rooms and breathtaking views of Earth from space. That's it for our headlines.